Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here, and we are bringing you week three of the PML draft. And this week we have Marquise, coach of the Philadelphia Polyrats. So, Chargers get to take them on in a week three showdown. It's going to be a good one. I feel it. I can feel it. It's going to be a good one. We just came off a win last week, so we are currently one and one, trying to get to two and one. And uh, don't want to fall too far behind in our division. Our division does have a lot of people who still are undefeated. Uh, the Polyrass aren't one of them, but hopefully we can get ahead of them. So let's see which Mons he decided to bring here today. Uh, we brought pretty much the same team we brought last week. Uh, minus the Steelix. Uh, didn't want too many defensive Mons. Um, I feel Clefable could be good in this game again. Uh, I see Lycanroc really sweeping this team up at the end of it. And uh, Project S X, of course, can just uh, fire off hits on everything. So, let's see how he decides to take on this battle here. All right. We're going to go ahead and go for Motorhead. Uh, we aren't scarfed. But we should be faster than most of his team. We should be able to hit everything pretty hard. I don't think he brought his dragon. Did he have a dragon on his team? Could have swore he had a dragon. And he he didn't bring it if he does. I don't know. I've just faced so many Salamances this week. It's not even funny. In other leagues. Okay, he doesn't have a dragon, but the the surprising mine he didn't bring is Aegislash, so uh, that's kind of a good thing. We don't have to deal with that bulk of that Pokemon, so we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of hoping he leads uh, Tentacruel here, and that he does. So, um, thankfully he led this. We're just going to fire off a wild charge to try to take this thing out. Because this is one of those mons that can be very annoying. And especially if he gets toxic spikes up, it could be a problem. So if we can get this thing off the field as soon as possible, that'd be great. Okay, but he does withdraw. He goes to Chandelier. So Chandelier is going to take a big hit here. And it does over half, so we're good there. Um, is it scarfed? We shall see. I'm going to go to Yoda here. Yodas are pretty much a uh, for sure answer for this thing. It uh, can take specs damage pretty well. If he is scarfed, that's fine too. Uh, there's not much this thing could do to really hurt us too much. We are specially defensive build. Although that did a really good chunk. Um, let's see. What Pokemon does he have? He could go Milk Tank here, but I'm going to play it safe and go for the Shadow Ball. Alright, so he goes, takes out Chandelier, and he goes to Magneton. Okay. So I guess Magneton's his for sure answer to this thing. And we get some decent chip damage off there. Now let's go to Moto Moto. Because we'll be able to take a Flash Cannon pretty well. And if he decides to go for an electric move, we're immune to it. So really, we have two electric immunity mons in, uh, in Motorhead with the motor drive and also Hippowdon here. But we're in a, we're actually in a good, pretty good position here. I am. Okay, he does get a reflect up, so. And that's not too big of a problem. We do have uh, Mr. Mime. Who can uh, get rid of screens on switching. So we're just going to get our stealth rocked up. And let's see what he decides to go to here. Probably a flyer. No, he goes to Vile Plume. And I'm kind of okay with that. Alright. So what does he try to do with Vile Plume here? 
obviously it's going to be a grass type move or grass or poison and i'm just going to go get rid of that screen Let's go to twinkle toes here and we're pretty bulky we should be able to take any hit oh sleep powder but we avoid the attack so we get a little luck on that one we get a lot of luck on that one really all right, and we're going to go ahead and just go... Who does he go to? I'm going to go Psy Shock here. He might go Tentacruel to take the uh, Ice Beam or something, but... I mean, we have Freeze Dry, so that wouldn't be good for him either. But I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock because it's going to hit its defensive side pretty well. And uh, Vileplume's more of a special defensive Pokemon. But let's see what he decides to go to here. Maybe even Magneton. Yeah. So Magneton gets the rocks damage. And we get a Psy Shock off. Alright. And now we're going to stay in. And it, it'll probably predict we're going to switch. But I'm just going to go for Focus Blast here. I could taunt. But I'd rather get the kill. And, oh, it lives on a sliver. And decides to go for flash cannon. So at least we won't have no screen to worry about. We do lose um, that damage there. I mean, we do lose Mr. Mime there, but that's fine. I don't think he'll get another screen up. I'm going to go Motorhead here. And I'm going to Bolt Switch. Because obviously, I mean... We'll get some pressure here. Okay, so I'm going to go Volt Switch. Just on the off case, he switched into something else. But it doesn't hurt to get the kill on the Magneton. Alright, I'm going to go back to Moto Moto here. Get our sand back up. Alright, and I think he'll go to Bioplume now. But the good thing is we have a we have a rocks up, we have our sand. Um he doesn't have any well he does have a flyer. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the earthquake here. He hard switched to this for a reason. And we take that pretty well. He'll get a lot of health back, but we took it very well here. Earthquake should do some good damage. Like I said, it's more uh, specially defensive. Okay. We get some health back. Now, I'm going to go straight to Project X. He can he can get some health back, but Vicious Rain should uh, Oko it on the next hit, even after Giga Drain. And Giga Drain will be neutral to us. And it still does a big chunk, but it shouldn't live uh, from this range. Alright, so let's go Vicious Rain here. Hopefully it takes it out. If I remember correctly, the calc said it takes it out from here. We are choice banded, adamant, max attack. So let's see what it decides to do here. We are faster than everything on his team. So vicious Rin. Doesn't take it out. Almost. Oh, and it puts us to sleep with the effect score. Well, that's not good. But, I mean, it's not the worst case scenario. Hopefully we can wake up here. I'm not going to switch out. But hopefully we can wake up. Nope. We could take one more uh, Giga Drain. But if he has a priority move, uh, that's going to hurt us.
All right, just go for the fish's rain. All right, so we didn't outspeed there. All right, so vile plume was annoying to deal with. All right, so let's go to uh, Motorhead here and go for the Ice Punch. So Ice Punch should knock it out. Unless he switches to something. Shiny Electivire just looks so amazing. All right, so he does switch. What does he go to? Chandelure. All right, he got to sleep. Can we get a freeze? Oh, Ice Punch should take it out now. All right, perfect. I don't believe Vile Plume's Regenerator either, so I don't know if it... No, it's not. It's not. It's effects four. Oh man! All right, so we're we're uh, even at four and four. We lost our one of our sweepers, not our best one, but one of them. Tentacruel is actually pretty speedy. I'm just gonna go for the wild charge. <clears throat> we do outspeed, so Tentacruel goes down. So that's one Pokemon we don't have to worry about now. Later on. So at this point, we're in the prime position for Lycanroc to sweep. Milk Take's going to take some damage. We're just going to go for the cross chop here. And let's see what he decides to do with this milk tank. Probably get some rocks up on our side. Cross chop does really good damage. All right, he's going to go for the body slam. Oh, got a crit, so that took us out. Alright, so Lone Wolf is the way to go here. And I can't max just yet, because I don't... We won't outspeed Aerodactyl, and I don't want to take a, uh, and I, I don't think we can take an Earthquake. Hey, Paladon could pretty much wall off, uh, Aerodactyl's G-Max. Because he is, di he's going to Dynamax it. I just know it. So if anything, he'll probably bring it in now. And if he does, we switch to hip out on. Okay, no, he goes vile plume. Oh, you know what? We're gonna be faster. We're gonna go for the max rock ball here. Because we have sand rush. I'm dumb. I could have just done that. So we'll get our speed boost, and then we'll be able to just take out Aerodactyl from there. So let's go ahead, max rock ball this thing. No way Vile Plume lives this, right? <laughs> wow, Vile Plume is faster somehow. Scarf Vile Plume? Okay, that I did not expect. So Vile Plume is going to go down to sand, I believe. Luckily, we maxed there. Holy crap. So, Lycanroc gets the kill there. Great, great tech on that. Uh, Scarf Vile Plume. I would have never expected that in a million years. Wow. Okay. So, Aerodactyl gets hit by the rocks. We're going to go for the max rock ball, and hopefully that gets us the win, even if he Dynamaxes. It should get us the win. We are we are faster no matter what. 
And he just doesn't Dynamax. He just concedes the defeat. And that is a GG to the Philadelphia Polyrath. Way to fight. We, uh, we got behind early, but we came back and won the way we wanted to. So best of luck in week three, Philly. And we'll see you guys next time.